So this is 8089S52 uh, interfaced with a 7 segment display and this is a common anode type uh, 7 segment display because uh, the 8089S52 can't uh, source that much current uh, we have to use it in this configuration so that we can just sync the current uh, so this is why we uh, use a common anode uh, type 7 segment display with these kinds of uh, microcontrollers and um, here's the power coming in VCC and through a resistor it goes to the common pin and this is the uh, pin diagram of the 8089 uh, sorry uh, seven segment display and as you can see the middle uh, on both sides the middle pin is the common uh, pin where you either uh, supply ground or uh, VCC depending on what type of uh, display you have uh, in if it is a common anode then you will uh, provide VCC there and if it's a common cathode you um, you put ground there so um, A B C D E F uh, these all uh, control the segments so let's say if I put uh, um. <clears throat> okay, so let's say that if I uh, turn, uh, I just uh, make the pin A uh, zero, then the A segment lights up. If I uh, turn on uh, F seg, uh, turn on, uh, put zero on pin F, then the F segment lights up, and this is the decimal point we're not using that so I just made a program that counts from 0 to F 4 5 6 7 8 9 A B C D E F and back to 0 and um, this is the program um, if my camera will focus uh, yes so as you can see we've just uh, I've just uh, declared a array named digit where all the uh, common anode uh, code for the display 7 segment display uh, is put in and then I have a, a counter a variable that counts from 0 to uh, 15 so I'm just running a for loop inside the while loop which counts from 0 to 16 and the corresponding uh, value is loaded onto P0 port 0 and the way I found out the code for uh, these uh, um, uh, these uh, codes are found by uh, just using this seven segment uh, helping tool where you just select the uh, you know segments you want to light up and uh, then it will give you the common cathode and common anode uh, uh, codes and I just used that to construct this array and so if the value of number num here is zero then uh, it will load C0 into port 0 uh, which will uh, which will uh, show 0 on the outputs so as you can see common anode code for common anode uh, display is C0 okay so yeah uh, but in the future well really soon I'm gonna do something else with this because uh, there are two things I want to uh, do with this uh, which is obvious uh, and it's multiplexing uh, it's a technique where uh, you um, switch between multiple digits and 
turn each uh, on for a while and then move on to the next one and that way do, we don't have to uh, spend too much uh, pins on the seven segments uh, seven segment displays and um, there's another technique that is uh, using uh, I see that uh, you know takes a binary number and converts it to seven segment display uh, code and I think it's called four uh, what was it four five uh, I can't remember four five one one four four zero five one I don't know uh, I forgot anyway so that is something I'm going to try next thanks for watching so I was going through the parts bin and I actually found out uh, I actually managed to find the IC I was looking for and it's 4511 so basically what this IC does is it takes a 4-bit binary and converts it to a, a digit from 0 to 9 so yeah this is used to convert binary number into seven segment uh, um, code and um, actually we have to use a common uh, cathode for this because this one uh, source sources current and this also has a latch uh, uh, pin so we can uh, have multiple units of this chip and we can drive multiple uh, uh, digits using the uh, switching uh, the latch pin so yeah looking forward to working with this thanks for watching